Myanmar is tradition-rich country, and she has a lot of folklores. Lots of children are listen those folklores as their bedtime story. I will be reading 30 Burmese tales written by Maung Hinao in this series. In this tale, I will be reading, Why the Deer Barks. Please subscribe and click the bell button to get notification, when we upload new tales. The stag, in all his glory marched up and down the forest, crying, Hello, hello, I am like a soldier. He did look like a soldier with his strong body and beautiful antlers. The small deer with his short horn imitated the stag, and he also marched up and down, crying, Hello, hello, I am like a soldier. The monkey, sitting aloft in a tree, was playing with a creeper, and shouting, Coil up the rope. Coil up the rope. He looked down and saw the small deer swaggering up and down, and laughed aloud. The small deer was annoyed. What are you laughing at, oh you fool of the treetop? He asked. At you, my dear, replied the monkey and, he went on shouting, coil up the rope. Coil up the rope. Are you thinking of catching me with a rope? Asked the small deer indignantly. The monkey did not deign to answer and went on playing with the creeper. You wicked animal said the small deer, I will make the tree fall down, so that you also will fall down. So saying, he went and gored the tree with his horn. The tree did not fall, but the horn stuck in the trunk. The poor deer pulled and pushed but the horn remained stuck. The deer struggled the whole day, but he remained stuck to the tree. The sun set and darkness came, and the deer became frightened. But the monkey still sat on the tree, playing with the creeper, and mocking the deer with his cries of coil up the rope. Coil up the rope. The leopard now prowled the forest, and the deer pleaded, Sir monkey, please save me. The leopard with his piercing eyes will soon see me and kill me. The monkey pitied the deer at last and said, Bark like a dog, and I will shout like a human being. The leopard will think a hunter and his dogs are waiting for him, and will run away. So the deer barked like a dog, and the monkey shouted, the leopard, as expected, ran away in fear. When dawn broke, the monkey came down from the tree and freed the deer. I shall not be boastful again, promised the small deer, and I shall never again cry that I am like a soldier. Instead I shall always bark. He then said farewell to the monkey, and ran back to his home, barking all the way. That is the end of the tale, Why the Deer Barks. Read by me, Emma, Timber Music Channel. Please subscribe and click the bell button to get notification when we upload new tales.